hello in this tutorial we are going to look about bend detection this is also very important so let's get started what is bend detection when we bend steel the length of the bar slightly increased okay you can see here in this picture as well when we bend it the length will be slightly increased due to stretching in the bending area okay so in bending area we will have the stretching and that's why length will be increased so cutting length is taken lesser than required length okay due to this stretching we will take cutting length lesser than the required length so that's why we need to do the bend detection hope you really understand what is bend detection okay why we do bend detections okay so let's look about uh, different bends and their directions as well now the first one over here is uh, bend directions uh, values for different angles first one over here is 45 degree bend now if we bend a steel bar in 45 degree we will do the deduction as 1d what 1d d is basically die off bar 1 multiplied by die off bar is a deduction for 45 degree bend now next to it if we have bend of 90 degree if we bend the steel bar in 90 degree okay all we need to do is we need to do the deduction as 2d okay what 2d okay so this is basically base if you have any kind of angle you need to divide it on 45 in order to find out the bend detection if it is 90 degree if it is 100 degree if it is 135 degree all you need to do is you need to just divide it on 45 in order to find out the bend detections important okay now next let's suppose if we have uh, the bend as 135 degree if we have bend a bar in 135 degree angle okay 135 degree angle then our bend detection will be 3d mean 135 divided by 45 uh, is equal to 3d 3 into die off bar and uh, next to it uh, if our bend is 190 degree sorry 180 degree then what will be the bend detection 180 divided by 45 it's mean that 4d okay so for 45 degree it is 1d 45 divided by 45 it's mean that 1 okay so it is 1d for 90 90 divided by 45 2d and for 135 degree it is 3d and for 180 degree it is 4d remember all of these values and if we have any other kind of angle okay 140 let's suppose in some of the scenarios we will have then if you want to find out the bend directions all you need to do is divide it on 45 okay in order to find out the bend direction over there okay so these are some angles in their bend directions Hope you really understand this session. I'll see you in the next.